welcome to this hour-long trophy aerobics class. I'm jumping on a cellar sizer and I always use my handlebar. Let's jump right into it with health bounce. Let's put our feet in a wide stance and let's maximize our straight posture. We really want to have a long, stretched out, open spine. We want to get taller in this one minute right now. So let's go ahead and manifest that. Set the intention for the workout. Close your eyes, start breathing. We want to create flexibility today, strength, endurance, stamina, and have amazing energy for the rest of the day. We are going to be laying down at the very end of the workout, so definitely have a towel close by. Next, we're going to do our lung breaths, and here we go, 10 lung breaths on the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> Great job, Ooh. getting deep in there. That's the goal. We really want to clear out the bottom of the lungs. Now let's hold our breath for as long as we can. Let's go 20 seconds and one, two, three. Great job. Let's go ahead and do some belly breaths. Let's expand our stomach as much as possible and contract it all the way back, belly button to spine. One more time, inhale and exhale. Go ahead and reach your right arm out. Let's stretch out our neck. Let's bring it down to a slow bounce, gentle bounce. Let's just open up our neck as much as we can here. Tilting the head back and forth. Deep breaths, go ahead and roll it down and to the other side. Really get that nice deep stretch. We're still gently bouncing. Great job, go ahead and put the neck forward and just tilt it back and forth. Keep the breath moving. Go ahead and face up, look up slightly. Put your chin up to the ceiling and slightly tilt your head to the side, left and right. Great job. Let's go ahead and bring up the bounce a little bit. Let's do some crawl stroke. We want to keep our spine straight and we want to keep our shoulders forward. Let's relax our neck and we're opening up our shoulders, our back, our core. Keep that breath moving. Keep that tummy in tight. Reach with your fingers, reach with your arms. Let's go ahead and do our back stroke. Shoulders forward. Really opening up those shoulders. Tummies are in. Great job. Let's go ahead and do a single leg hip twist. We're opening up the hips, the inner thighs, the core, the back. Get in, get into it. Really twist. Keep that breath moving. Keep that tummy in tight. We want to have our tummies flexed and tight as much as we can throughout the entire workout. Really focusing in on that core as much as possible. Let the core lead your whole body so we can get the most strength out of our core. Let's double time it. Opening up the waist, the hips, the legs. Next, we're going to do our one minute power run. This is for our fitness. We want to run quickly, but we're not going to get the heart rate up too high. We just want to get the heat up in our body. We want to practice perfect form. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
spine as straight as you can, tummy in tight. Bring those elbows all the way back. Chest out. job. Let's go ahead and just rock it out. And let's get into Northy. Incorporate our reach with the same side that you're pressing into the night we're reaching. So in the next 45 moves, we really want to maximize the minute. You only are doing this move once, so we want to make it count. This is Northy. We're reaching, we're increasing flexibility in our waist, in our core, in our back, in our spine. We're tilting the hips up, engaging those obliques. Great job. We're gonna reach forward next with hunch and punch, and here we go. Hands flat and straight. We're opening up the upper back. Tummies are in tight. It's all about the core. Let the core guide you. Really exaggerate our hips, rocking up and down. Keep that breath moving throughout the entire routine. Keep that tummy in tight, flexed. Great job. Next we're gonna do open heart, reaching out side to side. We open our chest as much as we can. Draw those elbows back in. We're pressing into the knot back and forth. Keep a light flex in your tummy. Relax your neck. Open up your shoulders. Really open your chest up. Keep reaching. Now we're going into Southie in two, one, here we go. So we're reaching as we press into the mat. We're bringing up our shoulders and then we're reaching down as much as possible, really keeping that flexibility going in our core. This is really good for digestion, for core and spine flexibility. Keep reaching. Bring the shoulders back just a bit. Great job. Next move we're going to do is jump fitness. We're jumping in and out. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
So if you want to crouch a bit deeper, that's going to make it harder. The higher you stand, it's going to make it easier. We want to find that perfect balance. So we get the heart rate going, but we stay in a light to moderate intensity. We want to be having fun. So you do, do your best to have fun and stay in the fun zone. Let's really engage the core right now. Draw it in tight, flex it. If you were to touch it, it's tight. We're really pressing deeply into the mat. Really engaging the core muscles as we hit the mat. This is our resistance mat. This is how we get a trophy core and a trophy body. Next move is forward kicks. We're flexing. Three, two, one. Here we go. So let's flex the quad as we reach forward. We're not kicking too high right now. We're focusing on the flex. Really flex that quad tight. As you come down on the mat, we're putting that extra resistance on our quads. This is a quad builder. It's also a core builder. We're keeping that core tight. It's like a standing crunch, really engaging those obliques. And we're flexing the quads. You don't have to kick high at all. You can just kick straight out as long as the quads are flexing, as long as the core is engaged. Next, we're gonna kick out diagonally forward. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just like this, not quite out to the sides, just forward. We're still flexing. We're still engaging the core muscles as we hit the mat. Every time you hit that mat, those core muscles are adding resistance. We're getting that strong core, flat stomach, and we're getting strong quads, flexing the quads. Back straight. Focus on the breath. Keep going, crunching it out. Side to side kicks for next. Three, two, one. Here we go, straight out to the side. We're flexing our legs. We're engaging our core. We're also engaging our glute muscles. We really do not have to kick high. We just want to point and flex the whole leg. I feel it in my calves. I feel it, feel it in my glutes. I also feel it in my obliques. Let's make it happen. We have 30 more seconds of side to side kicks. Make the most of it. Great job. Keep it up, keep flexing that whole leg. Three, two, diagonal back, here we go. I like to keep my spine straight and slightly tilted up, my chest up. If you feel like bending forward, you definitely can. As long as you're pointing your toe, you're flexing your leg, using that lower back and the stomach wall. We really want to engage that core all the way around. Mind to muscle connection. Here we go. Keep that tummy tight. Back kicks are next. Three, two, one. Here we go. Straight back. Let's really flex 
the hamstrings. Let's incorporate the glute flex and the stomach wall. This is not focusing on the obliques as much. This is focusing on the tummy, the front of the tummy, and the lower back and the glutes. Thirty more seconds. Let's make it count. I have my Isoflex massage handballs next to me. They're five ounces each in weight. We don't recommend using weights. I'm going to grab my massage balls and we're going to use them in the next move. If you have them, grab them. If you don't have them, don't worry, you don't need them. We're doing punching bag here. We use them to squeeze with our hands and engage the flex in our arms. It's all about flexing when we're jumping on a, on a rebounder, on a cellar sizer. It's all about flexing the muscles and hitting the mat. Let's really make it count. Focus. Three, two, one. Let's go backwards. You can do anything you want here. You can go side to side, up and down. However, whatever makes it fun. Tummies are in tight. Precision. Make it count. Next move is uppercuts. Three, two, one, here we go. So we're gonna bring one arm back and one arm up. We really wanna press our arm up as we press our feet into the mat. Both arms are getting in. Squeeze those balls if you have them. Keep that tummy tight every time you hit the mat. Engage the core, engage the arms. We're punching up against gravity. Tummies are tight. Flex those arms if you can. Really squeeze those balls. Tricep pumps are next. Three, two, one. Here we go. All we're gonna do is pump. If you do not have a ball, I want you to have straight hands and I want you to reach and pump at the same time. We can also reach too with the ball. It's not as easy, but we really wanna focus on squeezing and flexing. This is a tricep burner. Your triceps, underarms, pinko wings, you name it, they're gonna be gone. This is the move. Let's make it count. We have 30 more seconds to really get those tight underarms. Draw in that tummy nice and tight. Pump it out, pump it out. Take breaks anytime you need. Great job. We're gonna do the one leg bounce for 15 seconds on each side. Three, two, one. Here we go. 15 seconds. You can ditch your isoflex balls if you want to. Might as well. Let's have our spine straight. Let's focus on our core right now as we hit down in the mat. Two, one, and switch. Again, why not focus on that core? the obliques, the stomach wall, just on that side that's pressing into the mat. Focus on that. Press into the mat. Three, two, one, and switch. We're pressing in, getting that core activation. Three, two, one, and switch. Great job. We're gonna do four point kicks next. Three, two, one. Here we go. Forward, 
to the side and back and across. Forward to the side and back and across. I know we're switching. It takes coordination. Try to focus. This is an ab training move. We're getting our whole core right now, trophy core, out to the back and cross. Forward to the side and back and cross. Great job. Engage the full core. Woohoo! Here we go. One more. Here we go. Last one. Great job. Next, we're going to do jump start. I'm going to grab my balls. And here we go. Jump start. So we want to be punching the sky to the diagonal reach. We're pressing in the mat. This is great for shoulders. We're squeezing the balls if we have them. If not, we're reaching as far as we can. Very effective. We're just dancing. We're having fun. Doing the jump star. We're superstars. Feel it. It's a vibe. Getting that trophy back. Tummies are in tight. Next, we're going to do the jump X. It's very simple. We're just going to rotate and turn this into an X. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just like that. Stay focused. You don't have to jump high. We're just keeping those arms moving. Tummy is in tight. Let's keep that trophy core really nice and firm. We're reaching. If we don't have the ball, we're reaching. Feeling it in your shoulders? I sure am. Make it count. Try to relax the neck. We're having fun. Next move is glute squeeze. We're going to ditch the balls. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go ahead and just tighten our glutes up. I'm squeezing them. I've got them tucked up. I'm really engaging each glute. Really pushing it up against my hamstrings. Pushing me up against my, the front. My spine is straight. I'm not going to flex too hard. You flex as hard as you want. But I want to flex just enough to feel it. But not enough to get too sore because tomorrow I won't be able to do this or the next day. It's, it's up to you, but it works wonders. The higher you jump, the more activation, but the most important thing is to squeeze. Squeeze it tight, feel that trophy booty. Just imagine the perfect butt and it's yours. We're hitting the mat, we're getting that excellent resistance. Next we're doing ballet pose. So we're gonna bring our legs together, top to bottom, and point our toes out. Here we go. So gentle bouncing. Let's um, uh, don't uh, make your legs straight. Don't have any bend in your knee. Really flex your glutes. Really flex your quads. You feel that? Flex the calves if you can. And we're just gonna bounce here. Go into the mat, keeping that flex in your glutes in your quads, your whole legs, if you can. That's the most important thing. Pressing into the mat with the flex. Feel it? Quads, stand up tall, quads. Flex them, flex them, flex them. Glutes, tight, here we go. 10 more seconds, let's make it count. Really flex those quads. Three, two, flex, one, and here we go. 
cat cow. So we're gonna just do this for one minute. We're gonna open up the spine, really exaggerate. This is good for the, the nervous system. Really good to massage the spine and balance the nervous system. Good for stress. Bring that tummy in tight. And then push it out. And gentle bounce is all that's needed here. Great job. Next, we're gonna do golf twist. We're gonna grab the ball. So here we go. Three, two, one. And we're gonna imagine ourselves having a golf club in our hands. We're gonna reach, reach over like this. Try not to shift your chest out like this. We wanna keep our chest forward and down. We do wanna swing our shoulders and our arms as much as we can. Really engaging the core. It's all about the core. Tummy's in tight. Get that flat stomach right now. Here we go. Really increasing the flexibility in our back. Really improving our golf swing. Really engage that, that leg, that back leg. Just a little bit. You feel it in your obliques some more. Three, two, diagonal reach, here we go. So we're gonna put our feet in a wide stance, get that bounce going, core tight. Let's put a light flex in our arms. We don't need the balls. If we don't have them, we can just reach as much as possible. Reach, reach, we can still reach with the balls. We really wanna split our chest open. Reach as far as we can, tummies are tight. Just a light bounce. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's just focus right here, right now. Reaching, flexing, tummy is in tight. And we're bouncing and breathing. Reaching, flexing, tummy's in tight. And we're breathing. Three, two, one, and then switch. Reaching, flex, tummy in tight, and breathing. Reaching, here we go. Three, two, one, and switch. Keep the flex in your arm. Keep, arms keep reaching. Keep that tummy in tight. Squeeze those balls if you got them. The arms are flexed. Just a light flex. I can, I can feel it. I'm gonna get sore if I do this too much. Three, two, one. We won't need the balls. We're bouncing on one leg. 30 seconds on each side. What are we focusing on? You know it. The stomach, the stomach wall. Let's just press into the mat and focus on the stomach. Stomach, mind to core connection right now. This is doing crunches. This is doing ab training right now and leg strengthening. Three, two, one, switching sides. Getting the other side of the stomach flat. You can bring this knee up higher if you feel up to it. You could put a light flex in the bottom leg. You can manage that, but we're really focusing on the core right now because this is already strengthening the legs. Three, two, 
one switch sides. Oh, we're going into warrior twist. Here we go, no balls. Let's reach and reach. So we're gonna keep our shoulders forward. We're gonna reach with our forearm, back arm, and our back arm, tummy is in tight. We're gonna just gently bounce here. Spine straight, tummy's in tight. Let's reach. Three, two, one, switch sides. Feel like a warrior. Chest up, chin up. We're reaching, it's a beautiful pose. We're getting strong upper backs, a strong core. A nice flexible spine. Feel strong, feel, feel powerful. You're a warrior. Three, two, one, switch sides. Tummies are in tight. Last one, here we go. Make it count. Stick with me here. But take breaks anytime you need. This is burning. All knee crunches. Crunches, crunches, crunches. Here we go. I want you to crunch up, crunch out, crunch to the side, as long as you're engaging the core. Try to put a flex, let's incorporate the breath. Inhale and exhale as we crunch. Let's slow it down. Let's make it more precise. Nice, deep flex as we crunch. And an exhale. We're gonna continue with the crunches. We're gonna incorporate the arms next. Three, two, one, here we go. Just on the right side. Go at your own pace. If you want to do this every second jump like this, do so. Just go at your own pace, have fun. Don't let your heart rate up, get up too high. You really want to keep yourself in a low to moderate heart rate zone. This is all about the crunch, pressing into the mat as we crunch, crunch and press. And we exhale. crunches here as long as we're crunching we're getting that trophy core this whole routine is about the core isn't it that's what's up three two 
one. And we're gonna do some waist trainer. Go at your own pace. Do a mid bounce if you need to, just like this. Otherwise, we're increasing the flexibility in our waist. Move the breath. You wanna put a flex in the abs, and then you're on it. Spine straight if you can. Less motion the better. We just wanna stay here and stay twisting as much as possible. Go at your own pace. Work your way up. Feel that waist getting smaller every time we twist. Getting tighter. Three, two, one. If you have the balls, grab them. If not, we're gonna flex. Here, forward, out, forward, out. Tummies are in tight. We're flexing, flexing, flexing. Hitting the mat. We're tightening our tummies. We're getting that impressive flex. We're working the chest and the back, the chest and the back, and the entire arms and the core. Just a nice, gentle bounce is all we need. Focus on that flex. Opening the chest, the back. You really want to keep those arms as tight as possible. Just like you're flexing. Like this. Three, two, one. Ditch the balls. We're going in squat bounce. Squat with me here. Let's stick our buns out as much as we can. If this has causes any back pain, tilt your pelvis forward. If not, we're gonna stick our booty out just like this. We're gonna press into the mat, spine straight. Doesn't have to be straight up, but spine straight. Tummies are in tight. Let's really dial in, not to the front of the legs, to the backs of the legs. Let's use those heels to press into the mat. Flex the backs of the legs, flex the glutes. You feel me? Do you feel it? Flex it, flex it. If we press into the mat enough, it's flexing on its own. Great job. Find a comfortable position for your spine, whatever that may be. As long as we're engaging the back sides of our legs, the quads will be flexed as well. Three, two, one, great job. We're up on our toes. We're gonna do a shuffle dance, the Vicky toe twist. We're gonna open up those inner thighs. Let's put a flex in those inner thighs. How about it? We all want nice inner thighs, right? Can you flex your quads? Flex your quads. You'll feel it in your inner thighs. Point your knees out. Keep up on your toes if you can. If you can't, don't be up on your toes. Just do a flat like that. But if we can be up on our toes, just make it fun. Incorporate that twist in your waist if you can. We're engaging those inner thighs as much as possible. Tight, flexed inner thighs. Three, two, one, great job. Let's go ahead and reach over. We're bouncing, just a gentle bounce. Let's reach as far as we can. Be comfortable, but go deeper. Hold the bar. Three, two, one, other side. Stretching is just as important as strengthening for getting a lean, tight core. Really take our deep breaths right now. Three, two, one, arms up. Let's twist, just like this, spine straight. Go deeper, go further into the twist. Three, two, one, switch sides. Spine straight up, keep bouncing. You can definitely hold the bar if you need to. Three, two, 
three, two, one. We're gonna do raw cat practice. We're gonna kick forward, just forward for now. We're gonna go kick as high as we can. It's all about flexibility. It's not about speed. Let's engage that core. Those obliques are working right now. Great job. Three, two, one. We're doing diagonal rocket practice now. Pretend you're on the line, the rocket line. You want to be precise, have perfect form, and you are increasing the flexibility. We'll be able to kick higher and higher and higher as the weeks and months go on. Great job. Next, we're going to do jump splits. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Go at your own pace, go at your own rhythm. Feel free as you jump into the air and stretch out those inner thighs. We're increasing flexibility in our split kick. If we go too hard too fast, it definitely increases the heart rate a bit too much for me. I want to get back on my mat tomorrow. Well, you know, most days. I got one more in me. Three. Two, one, great job. All right, here we go, paddleboard kicks. We're gonna pretend we have the paddleboard handle in our hands, and we're just gonna go back and forth, side to side, as we crunch up our knees. If you wanna do one, if you, you wanna just do knee crunches, hold the bar, that works great too. Have fun with it, make it a dance. We don't have to jump high. We're just engaging the core. Tight, flat stomach right now. Here we go. Woo, 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 woo. Great job. 10 more seconds. Jumbo walk is next. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Slight bend in the knees. We're pressing back and forth in the mat. Let's engage our core. Spine is straight. Let's go a little deeper and slower. We really want to press into the mat. Having a tight mat is key for these kind of moves. We really want to maximize the resistance of the mat. It has to be tight to absorb the weight of our body and keep us hitting the mat with a strong force that matches gravity so we can increase gravity by double or triple and our cells adapt to more weight so then we become lighter. It's a mathematical equation. Keep pressing in the mat, full feet contact. We're pressing with our heels. We're pressing with our whole foot. Let's do this. Five more seconds. This is a, this is, we're going to call it hiking. This is like hiking a mountain. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's go ahead and balance on our left leg. Bring our right leg up. Back leg pulses. Let's pulse it. We can. Just a very light balance. If you want to, please face your bar. I'm going to face my bar. We're engaging the lower back. The glute muscles, we're not pulsing it, but we're jumping. And you can kind of feel what I'm talking about with the pulse. You gotta kind of move it upward a little bit. Get that bubble butt. Three, two, one. We're switching sides. This is really good for that lower back as well. Spine straight, chest up. Really engage those glutes. Point that toe up to the sky. Pulse it out just a little bit. Feel those glutes popping. Trophy booty. Next move is the trophy core flex. We're gonna get that trophy core. Three, 
two, one. Okay, let's go ahead and put a flex in our abs, okay? Nice tight flex to abs, like someone's touching them. Let's bounce here. Let's hold the bar and let's flex our abs. Breathe it out. Keep the flex the entire time. Can you keep it tight? Can you feel it tightening up in your back? Your whole core. It gets a little bit tighter as we exhale. This is the last 15 seconds. Let's make it count. Tight washboard abs. Here we come. Flexing all the way around. Three, two, one. We're doing our favorite move. I'm gonna do the temple. Do any move you want. Tummies in tight. Keep flexing, keep squeezing. Whatever you're doing, flex, squeeze, breathe. move is about the lower abdominals. We really want to flex it. It's not easy, but it's all about when we hit the mat, we're adding resistance to our core. Reach up with those arms. Three, two, and one. Great job. Let's get up on our toes. Just a light, gentle calf bounce. You want to go back and forth. That's absolutely great, but definitely engage those calves because that's the whole point, right? Try to flex them. Pop up on your toes just a little bit. Work them. Picture the perfect calves. Make it happen right now. You're pressing against the resistance. Now you're lifting weights with your calves right now. Three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and keep your face forward. Look to the right as far as you can. Keep bouncing. Keep your face forward. Now look to the left. Keep breathing, look up, all the way up. And look down, as far down as you can. Now look at a distance. Now look at something close. Now take your finger and reach out. Come in about four inches from your nose. Bring it out. Come back in four inches, other side. Four inches, bring it out, four inches. Great job, let's go ahead and do our, what is this called? Bottoms up, bottoms are up. Let's grab the end of the mat. Let's press our feet into the mat. Let's give our Kegels a nice clench. Tight waist, draw in the tummy nice and tight as we're flexing that, the Kegel muscles. This is our chance. We're strengthening our Kegels. Let's do it. Make it count. Do what you can. Squeeze what you can. We're opening up the backs of our legs. We're opening up our upper back. Deep breaths into it. Tighten those Kegel muscles. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's bring it up slowly. We're going to sit down. I'm gonna go ahead and sit to the side. I want you to sit between your bar here, okay? Let's go ahead and do our breath work. We're gonna breathe out, we're gonna make a monkey face and we're gonna just make a small hole to breathe the air out. We really wanna press as hard as we can with our breath. Really stretch out those cheeks and we're gonna tighten and tone those cheeks. You can reach with your chin up to stretch out and get a nice tight jawline. Make it burn. Ah. 
Great job, we're gonna do flute face. It's the same thing, inhale. And then instead of a puff cheek, we wanna do a tight flexed face, like we're playing a flute. The main focus is just to flex and tighten the face. Reach with your chin. This work one that works wonders. Make sure your neck and head feels relaxed. Take breaks anytime you need. Let's move on to puff cheeks again. Big, long inhales, blow out as much as you can for as long as you can. You should be feeling the fatigue in your cheeks and your jaw. Okay, let's go back to flute face. If ever you feel tension in the neck, just keep your chin down, but so you can still get that resistance from bouncing and tightening and flexing the face and exhaling. I can feel it. Can you feel it? You should be getting really fatigued. Five more seconds. Great job. Now let's just kick it up one at a time. Let's engage the core. Next move we're going to do is lay down bouncing for five minutes. Get your towel ready, your pillow or your towel. Set bouncing is really good for the core, it's good for the spine, it's good for the tops of the legs. If ever you want to take a break and rest your legs but you still want to bounce, sit bouncing is the answer. It's a really good workout. You can get a high intensity workout just from sit bouncing. It really targets the upper body. It gives you a strong sculpted upper body from sit bouncing, but we're getting that with our aerobics. We don't need to always be sitting. We want to be standing using our full body, but it's a great relief when we want to just sit bounce. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's go ahead and lay down. I got my towel. Go ahead and lay down on the mat. Try to put your head on the edge so your butt is bouncing on the mat. It doesn't have to be in the middle of the mat, but it definitely needs to be on the mat, off the springs. And we want you to, I want you to have a good time right now. I want you to do whatever you feel, whatever you can. I personally am going with putting my hands behind my head and then I'm gonna bring my knees forward and I'm gonna get myself into a crunch position. And I really want to bring my chest up and I want to tilt my lower back and I want to bring my knees forward, get into a crunch position. And then the best way to feel it is to keep bouncing and breathing. Open the mouth 
and just let the breath flow. It really feels good and it works. If you can't feel it, you need to draw your body closer together in a crunch position. Relax the neck. I just brought my arms around the back of the bar. That works great. Just gotta bring those knees forward. Really get that lower back tilted, engaging those abs. Flexing is good too. You can flex the core, that helps a lot. You can do so many moves here. You can do leg lifts. You can just do crunches. You can go side to side, dips like this. You can do one leg at a time, bouncing just like this. You can tilt your, your lower back, whatever feels comfortable. You wanna work your way up in this position. And pretty soon you'll be a pro. And you can just, just lay down and engage the abs for five minutes, working on that flexibility. And guess what else this is doing? This is giving our legs some nice recovery. Unless we flex our legs and we start working at it, but we don't need to do that. We can recover our legs, we'll get that blood flowing, and we can get a nice ab workout. I also like to reach out forward. but I always give my neck a rest if ever my neck gets tired. Three more minutes, let's make it count. Sometimes the body will slide down and the mat get closer to the edge. You can just pop back up. Do what you can. You gotta do what you gotta do. Incorporating the arms, shake them out. Let's do it. I'll do it for 50 seconds. Really shake them. Shake it out. Make them jiggle. Engage the core. Let the neck rest anytime you want. It really works in the front of the neck and the, and the back of the head. Fifteen more seconds, I'm shaking it out. Five, four, three, one more minute. Here we go, abs, here we go. more 
three, two, one. Great job. I invite you to stay laying down here. You can also sit up. You can also stand up. I'm gonna stand up. I wanna stretch out my stomach and bounce here. Deep breaths, let's close our eyes for meditating. We can meditate however we want. One way to do it is to focus on something that you want, that you love, that you feel worthy of. Another way to meditate is just to be calm, relax the mind and think of nothing. Try to think of nothing but space. Excellent job. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that you spent this hour with me getting our trophy aerobics, getting our trophy bodies. Feel free to do some more gentle health bounds just to calm and relax the body. And I invite you to do this routine again and again. We're going to keep posting these routines, this same routine. We're going to switch it up a little bit here and there, but we love this routine. It works the full body. There's nothing missed. We also invite you to shout out some moves. If you'd like some moves done in this routine, we're happy to introduce them. And we will definitely be seeing you very soon. Take care. Stay hydrated. Bye-bye.